Here is another beautiful case. Here you can see a long bone. It looks very much like it may be a femur, but please notice that this has been sliced and you can see generally cortical bone along the edges here and the medullary portion of the bone is replaced by irregular whitish deposits. Uh, this is a classical appearance for metastatic cancer. Here is another uh, radiologic image of a bone in which you could see that there are a bunch of what the radiologists call punched out lesions in which the normal specular bone is replaced by these little nodular deposits of lesser dense substance because tumor is lesser dense substance than bone. Here is another picture of what a relatively normal vertebral com column should look like. And even though there's some degenerative changes, notice in all areas the bone looks brown and spongy and rather uniform. Notice in the metastatic involved bone underneath, whereas this may look sort of uniform and spongy, the next one has an irregular whitish deposit of tumor rather than bone, so it's less dense. And up here, it is very irregularly involved. This is the gross and radiologic appearance of metastatic carcinoma to the bone. Now I will show you the microscopic appearance. You could recognize this as bone instantly. You could recognize this as perhaps surface or articular cartilage. You could recognize the fact that there is not much marrow or fat between the medullary or spongy bone, but instead it is mostly fibrous tissue. Well, and more importantly, in the middle of that fibrous tissue are glands. Normally, there should never, ever, ever be glands within bone marrow. Here's a gland. There's a little secretory vacuole. Here's a bigger gland. Here's a more primitive gland. Here's a gland. And in addition, this glandular substance, of which you can see 30 or 40 examples of here, is evoking a fibrous or sclerotic response as well. And even though there's a dense fibrous response to these glands, notice it is still not as dense as bone, and that's why these look like punched out lesions. By now, I think you could pick out these glands very nicely. Here's one. Here's one, here's one, here's a small one, here's a small one, here's a real small one, there's a real small one. And let's go to the other piece of bone now that you're such an expert. And I think you'll instantly see a whole bunch of glands here as well. And you could say, well, I see a bunch of glands, but how do we know this is bone? Well, you know it's bone because if you follow the tissue to the edge, you may be lucky enough to see some bony spicules here, which you do see. But even in areas where there's bony spicules, you can see little glands here and here and here and here. 90% of the time when a widespread metastatic carcinoma involves bone in a male, prostate is the primary. 90% of the time when widespread metastatic carcinoma involves the bone in a female, breast is the primary. Thank you very much.